and alpacas this is Livy and welcome back to alpaca power now today is something a little bit different you know my channel one of my theme of my channel is steampunk and I love to draw steampunk even though it's very complicated and I'm not the number one best at it but I still love it and I'm working on it and I'm working on it and so I decided to draw two, not not two, uh, three of my fellow YouTubers in their alpaca form, steampunk style. Now, let's see how it goes. Now this challenge was a little bit difficult to have my fellow YouTubers as alpacas in the steampunk style. It, it's easier when to draw them as humans in the alpaca, I mean, in, ugh, I can't talk today, in the steampunk style. But, um, uh, drawing them as alpacas in the steampunk style, it's a little bit difficult. And for the first one, I drew Rasbowski. Or his alpaca, who he named Green Guy. Um, I decided to give Green Guy, or the steampunk Rasbowski, a, um, a engineer-type look. Which includes the goggles and the giant, um wrench. And I thought it would be cute if I drew the goggles like one lens goes over the one eye to make it bigger. I was originally thinking about having him hold the wrench in his mouth but I decided not. Now, one thing that I will have to admit that was a little bit, like, difficult was how to position his ears, like, since the goggles are somewhat on his head. Um, so, I decided to have one ear down. And for his bow tie, I kind of made him a little bit, uh, or maybe a little too much like Abigail's bow tie. Which, I wish I didn't really do that because I want to make them all different. But, oh well. It still turned out okay. And I also decided to give him, like, a little two-belly pouchy type thing. Um, you know what I mean. Now, one thing I've been noticing is I've been forgetting to draw the fluff on his face. But I noticed that, um, later. And you'll see that I've been using the gold metallic, um, pencil a lot. See, now I draw the fluff. No, I- not yet, I'm coloring the eye. Which, that was one other challenge too, is to have him have his one eye peek through the lens. I decided to, you know, color the eye black with the pencil instead of the pen so it doesn't look like one black blob. And, um and draw the pupil and color it all blue. Like, coloring the alpacas themselves are easy, but it's coloring what's on them is hard. Believe it or not, but coloring is actually one of my favorite parts to do for this because I can think about all the different colors and possibilities. That's why I really love the blind pick challenges that you pick three colors blind and then you can get creative with the colors. It is difficult though, especially since I don't really shade. I should start shading. Because it makes things pop more. I was debating whether to make the the wrench copper or silver, but I liked how it turned out. Now next I'm drawing the Daco, um or Redberry, 
as a steampunk character. I always think of either Daco or Redberry having a um, like newsy type look. If you don't know what a newsy is, it's a newsboy. But um, also have a little apocalyptic flair too. That's one thing I love to do with steampunk. I love to mix it with post-apocalyptic um, um, flair. That's the word I'm looking for. And and one thing I kind of noticed is I kind of made him look so much like Loot Triton from the Professor Layton saga. Positioning him was hard because I wanted him to look like he's sitting down. Like doing that with a normal alpaca is easy, but doing it with clothes on, it's tough. As you can see, I use I usually draw the face with the ink. I don't know, I just do that. I just draw the face last and it's with the ink instead of with the pencil then the ink. Daco would look pretty good in a newsboy hat. What do you guys think? Actually, I draw the fluff last in the before the face. Now, coloring the outfit was a little bit of a challenge because I kind of wanted it all red, but I didn't want it the same shade as red, so I picked all these different shades of red. And sometimes I used the pressure of the pencil to change the color. And I also didn't want his outfit to blend in with his fur. And I wouldn't mind as his looked, his bow tie looked a lot like Abigail's, even though it doesn't look too much like Abigail's. But um, because they're twins, him and Abigail are twins, and yes, Daco does know about that. Pretty happy of how he turned out. Now the last one is Will. Now this one was a little bit uh, more difficult because I'm drawing him like Will has not named his alpaca, not if I know of, but I did it in a style of a Ruffigan. If you don't know what a Ruffigan is, it's kind of like a street punk um, gangster type person from that era. And the way it turned out, it, it almost looks more post-apocalyptic than steampunk. But I think whenever he blends in with all the other alpacas, he's definitely steampunk. Or if I drew the human will as a rough again, might look a little more steampunk. Now, what's different of Will's alpaca than everyone else's? Well, both Will and Chloe's is that their faces are colored in, too. He looks like he's ready for battle. I really hope you guys enjoy the steampunk-like styles. Tell me in the comment section below which one is your favorite. And hop aboard the alpaca bandwagon and subscribe and hit the bell for a notification. But... This was Livy, and this has been Lift the Next on Alpaca Power. I'll see you next time, my friends. See ya. I look weird.